Hi YouTubers, JW Accent here. I wanted to talk about somebody who has passed away by the name of Robin Williams. He's one of the biggest reasons why I'm silly or goofy. He's talent incarnate. Not only was he funny, this man could do serious dramas. One hour stuff like one hour photo. Things like that. Goodwill hunting. Dead Poet Society. I mean that's serious stuff. Then he would have comedic roles like Morgan Mindy. Which started his whole career and and uh, Hook, not necessarily a comedy, but you know he 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 made it comical. There were funny parts, you know uh, stuff like that. And Mrs. Doubtfire. I mean, these were things I grew up with. Not necessarily when I was really young, because some of these movies you wouldn't let your kids see because they're more for adults. But Mork and Mindy, you know, you could let your kid watch that. It's not too bad. You know. And then there were other movies he did, like Fern Gully. I mean, he transitioned over to voice acting with Fern Gully, where he played Batty Coda, Aladdin, where he played the genie. It's sad. The one I want to ask. What is your favorite Robin Williams moment? Whether it be a stand-up moment or an interview with somebody like Conan or someone like that or or a movie role he played, a TV show role he played or, or maybe a bit walk-on role when he, he just came, came in unexpected and everybody's like, oh, it's Robin Williams. No matter what, even in, yeah, I, I suffer from depression, too. You know, and, and I'm like Robin Williams, where I don't express that all the time. I'd rather not bring people down by expressing that. But my depression stems from my Aspergers, to where I feel like, you know. Yeah, I'm different. I can tell. I can feel it within my very bones that I'm different and that I don't act quite the same as other people or do quite the same things that other people do. And then that goes on to the subject of normal. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as normal. You know, I mean, nobody is normal. Nobody is. Even the popular kids and the rich people of this world are not normal. They go through everything that everyday Joe goes through. We are all different. Which makes normal blown out of the water. Know that you're not alone. Acceptance is hard. I mean, it is. To accept who you are. Probably one of the hardest tasks in the world. I mean, just know that there are people. And that norm is, n is myth. Norm is myth. It's hard for me to really pinpoint my favorite Robin Williams movie. Because I like a lot of them. But I'd have to say it's Hook. I know that it wasn't a big hit at the box office and blah, blah, blah. But I, I, mean, I was a kid. I watched it. And to this day, I love it. It makes you laugh. It makes you cry. It sends goosebumps up and down your body. And let me tell you, I love Peter Pan. Love the book. I read it to my kids. It's a little bit of hard reading. I'll tell you, it's, it's smart reading. 
The only thing you really have to worry about is the words. Bad word coming up. Kids, cover your ears and parents watch with your kids. Uh, silly ass. Which Tinkerbell uses. And she uses in the book. And she's using it really to just be cheeky. Is the word. <laughs> the English word for it. And she is. She's a cheeky little fairy. She's naughty. And she was naughty in the book. And they made her naughty in the movie. You know, and I let my kids watch Hook. Because there's a lot of good stuff in Hook. You know, whether it was a big uh, big box office flop or it was a major, major success. It is a good movie. You know, Mrs. Doubtfire, great movie. For him to switch from a male role to a female role, amazing. And again, another one that some people consider a flop, some people consider it a cult classic. Popeye is not an amazing movie. It's it's a great movie that stars an amazing talent, Robin Williams, who was able to even pull off Popeye. He was able to pull off Popeye in his stance. He was able to pull off Popeye in his walk. He was able to pull off Popeye with the way he talked and able to pull off Popeye in in general in his just in his um flamboyancy alone not everybody can do that so easily and the thing about Robin Williams where I've read up and heard different things about him is that from everybody is that he can't he couldn't sit down for long hours that he was so hyperactive and so just wanted to do something. That he couldn't sit still for interviews. You know, that he always had to be doing something. But when once that camera started up, man, you know, he got in the role. It's just sad that he made so many people laugh. But... It seems that he couldn't make himself laugh. And that's the way it is. I found myself laughing at myself when I watched some of my old videos. Um, but sometimes it's fake laughter because I notice nobody else is laughing. That's because I do realize I'm not funny. There are some times that I do laugh where I think it's funny, but for the most part, I I don't find myself funny find myself to be a big steaming turd and and it's true anyone can sit in front of a camera stand make goofy faces make stupid sounds run around the house and be stupid anyone can do that um that's probably most likely one of the reasons why i haven't gone anywhere i mean yeah, of course I can act, I can sing, I can do voices, I can do art, I can do all that stuff. But, you know, it's not enough. The first thing that people see when they come on my channel is some of the dumbest stuff. They don't see the talent that I have. And the cool thing about it, with Robin Williams, he was able to make it. And that may be a part of my depression, where I'm not getting anywhere on YouTube. Um, and I'm stuck at 61 subscribers and stuff. But it doesn't have to be that way. And it doesn't have to be that way for you. And again, you know, just remember, you're not alone. And it's, it is hard in life to make yourself happy when, especially when nobody wants anything to do with you. It makes it worse. Or at least if you feel like nobody wants anything to do with you. 
And if that's the way that Robert Williams felt, then that's sad, because a lot of people loved him. Even people who never met him before loved him. Not only because he made you smile, but because he made you feel. He made you feel, period. You, you, you could be down on the dumps, the saddest sack in the world that day. And if you watch a Robin Williams movie, you'll either cry, laugh, be scared. I mean, he was the king. He did it all. That's one of the things I want to do. Is do it all. I want to sing. I want to act. I want to voice act. I want to do it all. I want an amazing man to want to to be able to bring that kind of power forward to cause others to want to do things like that to become an uh, an idol so to speak not a worship idol but a you know something to look up to somebody who's a um who's a very good very very good role model for young kids for teenagers, for adults, for anybody. He is an awesome role model, no matter what anybody says. And I, I know he had, <laughs> whenever he did, you know, his stand-ups, he had a foul mouth. He used the F-bomb up and down. And it was kind of sad that he did that. But still, I mean, again, here we go. Here's a guy who did stand-up, who transitions from stand-up to TV, who transitions from TV to movie, who transitions from movie to kids movie, who, he's a, he's an everyday man for everybody. You know, he's that role model for the teenager, he's that role model for the kids, he's that role model for the, for the adult, to... He basically said, aspire to do anything, without really even saying it. He, he, he was the embodiment of aspire to do anything. And my Aunt Connie, she's an aunt of mine, obviously. <laughs> my Aunt Connie, she sent me a message on Facebook saying that, you know, most recently somebody asked me to do a task. And I felt overwhelmed, and it was an art task where I'm drawing all these cartoon characters on gigantic poster board with markers, and I'm not used to that. My style is the colored pencil. I'm working day and night on all these cartoon characters for a program she's doing for what's called VBS that's supposed to be during the summer, but she decided to do it during the school year. And when kids come home from school, most of the time, they're not going to want to go to another program. You know, they're going to want to go home. They're going to want to relax or sleep or play video games. They're not going to want to go to something where they're going to walk to each class and do whether it's fun or not. It doesn't matter. You know, you come home from school. You want to come home from school. I had four days notice before I had to get any of this done, and some of them are already late, And but I got, I got them there, I got some of them there, and they were happy with them, and she, the person who got uh, asked me to do this you know, was happy with it, and I get to dress as a sailor at the end. But the thing about it is that I was so overwhelmed, I felt like I wasn't going to get all of them done. The point of this long story is this. My Aunt Connie, uh, she, on Facebook, the message was to um, look up a passage in the Bible. And the passage turned out to be, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And although it's hard, because it's a deity you can't see, other than through the wonderful miracles and blessings of this earth, like the grass, the animals, the trees, and 
people who do go to church, who are good churchgoers. I'm not talking about the fake churchgoers, which are the ones who will judge you and will look down on you and will treat you like crap. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about true Christians who truly believe in Christ. And, you know, it and say it doesn't matter if you're gay or whatever. I mean, yes, it's a sin, you know, and yes, you know, I don't agree with it, but I'm not going to bash you and I'm not going to put you down. You know why? Because I want to be your friend. Uh, I want to be good to you because that's what Christ would do. This has turned out to be more than just a thing about Robin Williams. Um, <laughs> we're off on a wild tangent here. It's that Asperger's would be where I can't stay on the same subject for very long. You know, Robin Williams will be missed. And remember to, um, in the comments below, write down there, put in there uh, your favorite Robin Williams moment. And uh, this is JW Accent asking you to please submit and to comment and to like and to love life and remember. You're not alone. Normal is a fake, mythical word. No matter how different you are, we're all human. Amen? Amen. Oh, we're in agreement. Good. Good. Okay. All right. God speak to you. Oh, yeah. And I love you. Ooh. Remember to submit. <laughs>